I must say I'm very proud to be the mayor of this uh, attractive and dynamic city, uh, who is um, a leader in uh, sustainable development and uh, has a strong leadership in urban development. And Helsingborg is one of the fastest growing cities in Sweden. Uh, we grow with more people, we grow with more companies and more jobs. And actually, right now, the public and private investments in Helsingborg are massive. Uh, the last five years, uh, we actually started 6,000 new homes, and we have cranes all over the city. And that is, of course, good news. But it also creates a challenge to grow very fast. And in uh, Helsingborg, we think it's very important to grow in a sustainable way. And we like to grow in a way that does not reduce the quality of life for our citizens. Um, too many cities are right now struggling to adapt to the 21st century with um, outdated, silo-based management systems. To make matters worse, political structures often contribute to short-term focus. In Helsingborg, we have tried to overcome that on these barriers by uh, developing a unifying vision for all the city that is supported by all the political parties, and that it's very important. And today we have uh, 10,000 employees working together, striving together towards a creative, vibrant, united and global city in collaboration with our citizens and the companies here. And this is very, very powerful. So once again, welcome to, to Helsingborg, but also welcome to the Greater Copenhagen metropolitan area, which is an uh, uh, area that includes 85 municipalities in eastern Denmark and southern Sweden and it's home for 4.3 million inhabitants. And the aim for this corporation is to be a leading metropolis in the Northern Europe in terms of attracting and retaining uh, international investments, companies, tourism, and uh, talents. In Helsingborg, we, we strive to combine sustainable growth and quality of life, and offering a city where people can, and, and businesses, of course, can unleash their potential. It's very important for us to improve the quality of life for all our inhabitants. And this is why we have a politically decided program for the quality of life in the city. And that's to make sure that we always have this perspective with us when we're taking decisions and we work daily. And there are a few necessary conditions for a high quality of life, such as good health, uh, having an occupation, feeling like an active member of society, having an economic stability, and having a sense of comfort and security. And as a city, we, we need to create the foundation for these conditions to become accessible for all our citizens. And the focus areas in this program are built on Helsingborg's biggest challenges, but also connected to the uh, sustainable development goals, as well as Sweden's national health and sustainable goals. But quality of life is just not just this, it's, just, it's also a feeling and I want to show you a short film that hopefully, hopefully will give you a feeling of Helsingborg. Enjoy. Weekends. Time for timeless things. A time to stay. And a time to get away. A time to check in and a time to check out. A time to take it all in and to leave nothing out there. A time for your soul and a time for your body. A time to finally talk and a time to finally shut up. at all. A 
time to leave for a brief trip abroad. A time to experience great art and to make something even better. A time for things you want and things you need. A time to challenge nature and a time for speed. weekends. Can you feel it inside? That's the soul of Helsingborg, somewhere in that movie, I think. All right, uh, but Helsingborg is so much more. Uh, of course, I'm not as mayor objective, but in my opinion, Helsingborg is Sweden's most innovative and sustainable city. And over the course of the last few years, the city of Helsingborg has received recognitions uh, from different organizations and uh, received a number of awards. In 2015, we became Sweden's IT municipality uh, for our work with digitalization. And the jury uh, mentioned the great number of e-services that we have. Um, they mentioned the app Better Helsingborg, which enables our inhabitants to help us make Helsingborg a better place. It also mentioned the free Wi-Fi zones that we have and our work with open data and uh, our sharing philosophy with open code. I think all this is very important to build a, a smart city. And since then, uh, we have established an uh, open city hub, uh, which is a wireless infrastructure for Internet of Things uh, that enables detecting signals from all over the city uh, from, from small, small sensors that we can place out in our city. We have also introduced chatbots, uh, or building a data center for collecting data. The data is very important to be able to do great AI um, services. And we have also launched an AI center in cooperation with businesses and the University of Lund. The city of Helsingborg has also been appointed Sweden's Quality Municipality of the Year and the Growth Municipality of the Year. And uh, the last three years in the road, we actually have been appointed Sweden's most sustainable city. And there, the, the jury, uh, among other things, highlighted our ambitious climate and energy plan, our state-of-the-art waste system that, enable, that enables people to sort out their waste at home. And uh, with help from this open city hub, uh, they will be able to have their waste collected on demand in the future. And as we speak, uh, we are building a whole new district uh, in downtown Helsingborg, where all the building is sorting out the water separating black water from grey water and the food waste in the houses, using the latter for biogas production. In fact, we're moving towards zero waste. Uh, and our goal is to create a city that truly combines sustainable growth and technology, while focusing on innovative urban planning, improving quality of lives for our citizens, and reinventing city governance. And I think when doing this, we're not only a smart, but a smart city. However, the only thing these awards are showing is history, and the only way to truly make a change is to focus on the future. And Helsingborg, uh, like other cities, are facing tough challenges. The economy, the integration of migrants, uh, the Agenda 2030 goals, and the transformation into a more digitalized society puts pressure on the city. We also have a demographic challenge. Um, the number of children and the elderly are increasing compared to the working population, which means that the city expenses are rising faster than its income. And at the same time, the expectations from our citizens uh, are not <laughs> decreasing, uh, they are increasing. Citizens want simpler, faster, and more flexible service. So what to do? The challenge for us going forward is to be able to combine growth with sustainability and to offer public services that are uh, as good or better as today, but at a lower cost. And how to do that? The equation can only be solved by changing how we work and finding new solutions. And that is why Helsingborg has put up a very bold goal. Soraya mentioned it. In 2022, Helsingborg shall be one of Europe's most innovative cities. But a bold goal is not enough. 
Um, we're used to, here in Helsingborg, not just to talk. Um, we get things done. So um, we have taken a stand for over the three years. We will make an investment uh, of a type that Sweden has never seen before. A quarter of a billion Swedish crowns, 250 million Swedish crowns, will be earmarked to be used for innovation of a smarter and more sustainable welfare and urban solutions. And these solutions, preferably, will be developed in cooperation uh, with businesses, uh, other cities around the world, academia, NGOs, and the citizens of our city. And if possible, uh, across uh, organizational boundaries within the city. And we have also uh, started an open meeting place. Uh, we call it HPG Works. Uh, it's a place for innovation and digitalization. And it's probably Sweden's first uh, municipal accelerator. It's a place to accelerate and develop smart, cost-efficient and sustainable solutions together with the city's employees and our partners, and with a clear objective to create better services for the citizens. And um, in 2022, we have invited the world to an international um, city expo. We call it H22. And the City Expo and the work leading up to it is a major investment for our city, aiming to explore and lead the way to a smarter and more sustainable urban planning and city life. And we plan to have three perspectives in this City Expo. Um, the first, the innovative welfare and urban planning, where we will highlight the innovations, the tech, the ideas, pushing development forward. The second one is improving quality of life, we want to highlight the life in the city, the life between the houses, how people have it, how they feel, uh, their health status, and how they can live a, a life with a great quality. And thirdly and lastly, we will uh, have um, a perspective on reinventing city governance, trying to highlight which kind of leadership and which kind of decision making is the most, most successful in, in creating the sustainable and smart cities of the future. And this city expo will be a very powerful tool to help Helsingborg to change. Partly because it's, uh, it has given our organization a clear and inspiring target to work towards, and partly because it's opened up for opportunities and new collaborations with others to develop a smart and sustainable city. And in the years leading to H22, and during the, the City Expo itself, there are great opportunities to use Helsingborg as a test bed and to, together with other cities, industry, academia, intergovernmental organizations, we aim to ask the sharpest questions and develop the best solutions to make smarter and more sustainable cities. And in the summer of 2022, all this work will be showcased at the City Expo. And already we have teamed up with uh, almost 50 organizations, and we have dialogue with uh, even further, and uh, all of you, here today, consider this as an invitation to join us. And we know, of course, that the people of Helsingborg are change drivers, and we, of course, want to involve them in making Helsingborg a better place. And that's why we have created uh, the Vision Fund. Uh, it's a fund for uh, where residents and companies can apply money, and we want to um, support bold ideas, encourage the test spirit, and uh, the realization of dreams that people in our city have. And the Vision Fund enables people to try new things and to take an active part in the city's future by doing something that matters of their own. And since the start of this fund in 2014, uh, we have had nearly 100 ideas that have been implemented in, in the city. And all of those projects has, in different ways, contributed to the development of Helsingborg as more inclusive, a more sustainable and more smart city. I just love this dog. He's cute. And it seems impossible for him to hold four tennis balls in his mouth, but somehow he gets the job done, and he seems happy while doing it. And uh, it's a, all about mindset, I think, uh, or, at our, or culture, perhaps, at a more organizational level. Do we seek solutions, or do we seek obstacles? Uh, do we see opportunities in the challenges? Do we fear mistakes? Or we think of them as learning? Actually, I, the fear of failure, I think it's the biggest problem for an organization who wants to change and find new solutions. 
And that is why health and war in recent years have tried to counter the fear of, of failure in, in different ways. And one way uh, is to test many things on a small scale, uh, to start doing instead of investigating, and to learn along the way. In short, dare, test, learn, and if it works, scale up. We also uh, focused on leadership because we think that is very important in our organization. Uh, and we're focused on how to get a culture that supports trying new ideas and finding new paths. And right now, uh, we're actually uh, sending all our leaders uh, to a training camp in trust-based leadership because we think that is very important if we should be a creative and an innovative city. All right, um, so here you have it. This is our master plan for um, uh, meeting or master the challenges that we are facing and become an even smarter and more sustainable city. We have an ambitious goal. We have a structure for capturing ideas from coworkers in the city, a place to test and develop the ideas in collaboration with others, a earmarked resources for innovation, uh, we have a context for delivery and collaboration with others. And we have a strong will to engage the people of Helsingborg, the organizations that are working here, the businesses and the University of Lund as change drivers. And finally, a strong culture of daring, testing and doing, and that nothing is impossible. Thank you for listening.